have to put my people, our people in a position to where we can get financial freedom. And I'm trying to prove to people that it don't take a lot of money. Always got a couple rules. One, do your research into the company. Two, buy low. Three, sell high. I got the kid into investing. I had my first kid at 18. Started a mutual fund for him. And then once I did that, I always had that that in the back of my head or something I wanted to get into. Starbucks, Jumia, Tesla, Disney, Nike, Fuel Cell, Bug Power. I just got into it and just wanted to just share my experience with the people. How y'all doing out there? It's your boy, brother DJ, coming to you live from this wonderful establishment we call the studio. It's Frost and Bridge out here on this January 7th evening. I hope everybody's doing well, hope everybody's doing safe, hope everybody's family is prosperous and doing great things out here. Hope everybody brought in the new year, having fun, uh, safely, and uh, things of that nature. Shout out to all the squad cast members, uh, Junk Dark Game members that's not in the building with me right now. Video. Shout out to uh, Nichols and Matthew for uh, a lot of things, you know, definitely making this possible. So I'm always going to give that brother uh, his flowers and everybody else their flowers when he's still here. So we don't do that enough as a people. Uh, with that being said, you know, we're here for one thing and one thing only. We're going to talk about this crazy ass market. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the Robin Hood account. I've been sharing with you guys since time memorial. Um, you know, a lot of crazy stuff been going on. Definitely gonna get into it. Um, hope everybody's been out here seeing what's going on with the market uh, and a few other things. But with that being said, um, this particular portfolio, um, like I said, I've been sharing with you guys since July, I believe, of 2020. Um, right now, it's currently down just one uh, percent. It's really, really not that bad. It's not really great either. Um, it's kind of stagnant, but. Uh, the current stocks that I have right now is Cisco, Ford, Twitter, Google Cell, Progenity, Tesla, Apple, Nike, Microsoft, Oracle, CrowdStrike Holdings, Morgan Stanley, Starbucks, Coinbase. Uh, those are the ones that I have in my stock portfolio right now. Um, let's talk about it. Um, things are pretty hectic. Uh, Twitter. Is definitely taking a beating right now. It's, I would say it's reached an all time low, but the 52 week low is 38.69. It's currently sitting at 39.72. So, if you're looking for a position to get in, you definitely want to get in. Twitter is under 40 bucks. Um, you know, you definitely want to get in while the, the market is bloody. You know, when it's, it's, you know, when it's red, I always been the one to promote by the dips. So, uh, with that being said, uh, Tesla. Tesla was over eleven hundred dollars. Now it's down to a thousand and twenty-seven dollars. Um, down over three percent today. Um, definitely still doing this thing. Um, as far as my position, you know, I'm still up over ninety-four percent in this particular play. Uh, with average cost per share of five hundred twenty-seven dollars and eighty-eight cents. Um, Tesla is still a good company, obviously. Um. Gave you guys where I got in at, and you see that the stock price is pretty much doubled. So I'm um, still going to continue to grow, but right now with everything going on, it's definitely taking a beating. Um, another one that I want to get into was uh, a couple things that you want to probably have me watch this. Um, and if I if I talk to you guys about it before, I'm going to keep hammering it home. All right, um, as much. As the market has been down, somehow, some way, Coca-Cola is still thriving. Somehow, some way, um, their current stock price right now is uh, sixty dollars and thirty-nine cents. Um, it was down today, not even a half a percent. Um, up a little bit in after hours trading, um, but yeah, it, it's still amazing to me that the last time I talked to you guys about Coca-Cola. I think the stock price is maybe like 55, 56, hell, maybe even $58, right? And now it's just steadily going up. It says $60.39. I mean, it had a, a 52 week low of $48.11. And, you know, it had a, a 52 week high 
you know, 6120, it says 6039. So eventually he's gonna end up eclipsing his 60, um, his 52 week high, which is a great thing. Um, I've thought about code for a while now. Uh, I'm still waiting for it to kind of drop a little bit in order for me to reestablish my position with it. Cause I had Coke, uh, excuse me. Man. I had Coke a long time ago and uh, I just felt that it was underperforming for the time being that I had it and I sold out of that position to buy into another position. I did not necessarily take profits and then cash out and send the money to my account. I never would really do that. Um, always if I sell a stock, it's always gonna be put into something else. But Coke is definitely doing a thing. So um, shout out to Coke. You know, another one is, is Intel. Um, ticket symbol INTC. Current stock price right now is fifty three dollars and fifty five cents. Um, this is another one that's been holding uh, strong and steady um, for a while now. Um, it's at a fifty two week low of forty seven dollars and eighty seven cents. A fifty two week high of sixty eight forty nine. And with it being at fifty three fifty five. I mean, this is a great, you know, position to be in because it, it's def it's under fifty five dollars. It's a great company. It has the potential to definitely hit its fifty two week high again. Um, you know, I, I would I would suggest adding some of the watch list. Another one I would also add on the watch list is McDonald's. Seriously, McDonald's ticker symbol MCD. Uh, current stock price right now is two hundred sixty seven dollars six cents. Um, you know, McDonald's, you know, they had a 52 week low of $202.73 with a 52 week high of two seventy one fifteen. So, um, it's about four hours some change or maybe, uh, yeah, about four or some change from hitting this 52 week high. Um, they also give you about a 2% dividend yield for holding stock as well. Um, regardless of what's going on with the pandemic and I know they're talking about shortages and things of that nature. Um, the the food and carding industry has de definitely taken a hit. It it really has, um, to where uh, certain restaurants or well, fast food restaurants are having shortages, uh, not only on just food but um, employees as well. Um, you know they they're hiring like crazy, but you know nobody really wants to work there. But even with that being said, even with all the trials and tribulations, McDonald's is still thriving. They're still making money. They're still profitable. And they're not going nowhere. They're the number one fast food restaurant in the world. Not just the United States, the world. You can go down there anywhere and see a McDonald's. You can go down there anywhere and see those golden arches. Now, the menu might not be the same depending on what country you're in, but the, the, the the overall McDonald's is still the same, all right? So, you know, that's something that I added on to my um, my watch list. And another one that I added on there, um, in the financial sector, is J.P. Morgan. Um, J.P. Morgan Chase, sorry. A ticket symbol with J.P.M. Current stock price right now is $167.25. Um, this, this, I've been watching them for a while, and they, they've been, Kicking ass. I'm not gonna lie. Um, they they give a, a, a dividend yield of 2.2 percent for holding stock. They had a 52 week low of 127.35, but they had a 52 week high of 172.96, and they're five dollars some change away from approaching that. And I think they're gonna continue to grow and eclipse that. Um, if you know anything about banking, you know that uh, J.P. Morgan. Uh, I call him Pierpont Morgan. Uh, it's the middle name anyway. Uh, the Morgan family itself um, pretty much is historically known for banking. Right? Like they've been, I mean, they've been around since time immemorial. Bank holding funds and accounts for uh, people overseas in Europe, um, here in the United States, having a major impact in the stock market. I remember uh, watching a documentary and reading when uh, J.P. Morgan, the son, when he passed away, um, you know, they, they shut down the stock market in, in honor of him. That's how much of a, of a pivotal player he was in, in the industry and much of a power in his day he was in the Morgan family. Um, so with that, with that being said, it doesn't surprise me that, the, that 
this particular financial institution is thriving, but you know, it just with it being the pandemic, you know, the government and, and everything that's going on, you wouldn't think that JP Morgan and 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 Morgan Stanley will be thriving, you know, when you get when you got Wells Fargo and, and Bank of America kind of teetering. They don't know if they're gonna trend up or if they're gonna continue to trend down because it, it 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 Honestly, if you look at the, the, the charts, I mean, they, they really been trending down. Um, they, they haven't had a good couple of weeks or a good month in a while. But when you look at Morgan Stanley, you look at JP Morgan, the, these are the cream of the crop of the financial sector. So um, I would definitely put down my watch list. I would definitely go ahead and, and look into getting to a position. Um, obviously, I would try to see if it drops down to the 160s, maybe even the 155, not, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, like 155, maybe one, 150. That's where I would try to go ahead and get a position, if, if it even gets that low, you know? Um, but like I said, McDonald's, Coke, Intel, JP, Morgan Chase, like these are the companies that you guys need to be looking at. These are the companies that's been thriving throughout all this madness, throughout all this craziness, from a financial standpoint to a health standpoint and all that other good stuff. Uh, next time we talk, family, we'll definitely get into this cryptocurrency stuff. Um, it's definitely been a little frustrating and upsetting here and there. Um, but you know, I'm still holding strong in a lot of my cryptocurrencies that I have. And panic sold or anything like that. Um, I definitely try to buy more when I see the red days, out points in the red, I'm getting a half off. Shout out money, man. Um, with that being said, if you got any, got any stocks or any uh, cryptocurrency that you want to share with me, um, definitely put that in the comments. I definitely read the comments and like engage with you guys. Um, uh, if you got any other like platforms uh, out there to buy cryptocurrency, um, let me know because uh, I'm working with a, a, a lot of different ones. You know, I don't want to try to limit the uh, different platforms so I don't have a whole bunch of coins spread out all over these damn platforms. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's good to try to monopolize and, and get your portfolio together, but you know, I have things just spread out all over the place. Um, also, the next thing, uh, next time we talk about uh, is NFTs as well. Uh, brother Chef can kiss my ass with all his rhetoric about NFTs. Um, he knows nothing about them. He's not one in the, I mean, he's a caveman. I mean, he's, he's out here hunting. And, I mean, that's not, but, you know, he really don't understand. I don't, I, I don't think he's really taking the time to look at into it, to look into it, to see uh, the value in the NFTs and, and things in the metaverse. So we'll definitely touch base on that too. Uh, so with that being said, I love you guys. Uh, you guys be safe out there. Make sure that um, you know you're taking focus serious. Um, do what you need to do to protect yourself and your loved ones. Uh, keep trying to make that money. Keep striving for our financial freedom, and we're gonna do it together. Peace to the family.